everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time, and it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into week four of the NFL season, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has every tool that you need to make your picks successfully. Shows a full slate of games in the NFL as we approach the quarter point of the season, so let's get started and take a look at some of these. We have the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Cowboys. Carolina is off to a 3-0 start, but will be playing without running back Christian McCaffrey. Nevertheless, they are still uh, in the ball game as far as the odds go here. Uh, Cowboys do have 1.45 to 2.692 odds, but the line isn't that big considering the Dallas is at home. Dallas is a 4.5 point favorite. The scores predictor actually shows Carolina with a 33-27 to uh, win. With a confidence of prediction, though, of only 48.1%. The over-under for this matchup is at 50.5. The Carolina Panthers are burning hot at the moment, and the Cowboys are average up. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Carolina all the way up here at plus 30. Dallas is at plus 8. Let's take a look at the total predictor to check uh, whether or not we should bet the over and under. You can see that Carolina is trending in games slightly under the line. Dallas is trending in games over the line, so because they are trending on opposite sides, they usually like to avoid the over-under in that scenario. As far as the game itself goes, I do like Carolina. I just do. Even though uh, McCaffrey's not in the game, I do like Carolina. They're just on a roll right now, and I think that they will cover the, cover the spread and even possibly, and I would say likely, win the game. So there's a whole bunch of other games in store here. We're going to go down through here, scroll down here pretty far, take a look at the next one. You see we're scrolling down through here. A lot of games on tap. Chiefs-Eagles. Giants-Saints. Titans-Jets. But we're going to look at some of the more interesting matchups, maybe even important matchups of the week. Here's one that should be a very good game. The Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams host the Cardinals in the NFC West Showdown. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. You can see that um, on the power ranking indicator. Let's go down here. Power ranking indicator shows that the teams are neck and neck here at plus 26 for the Rams, plus, or plus 25 for the Rams, excuse me, plus 26 for the Cardinals. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Rams are 4.5 point home favorite with odds of 1.41 to 2.868. You see both teams are burning hot. And the over-under is set at 55, or excuse me, 54.5 at the moment. The scores prediction here, the Rams 27, the Cardinals 19, with confidence of prediction of very high at 82.5%. Let's take a look at the totals predictor, see what's going on as, with respect to the over and under. The Cardinals are trending in games four points under the line. The Rams are trending in games slightly over the line. So again, since they're on opposite sides of the line, I tend to try to avoid the bet in that scenario. Let's take a look at the money line here. It started at 1.41. You can see that it, there was a sharp decline here. Now it's back up. And it's back up to pretty much where it started at 1.41. As far as the outcome of the game goes, I believe that the Rams have an edge at home. It's going to be a very good game. This is going to be the game of the week. But I think the Rams have the edge at home and will win the game and cover the spread. Seattle and San Francisco. Baltimore Denver. That could be a good game, playing Baltimore on the road against Denver. But this is the next one we want to look at, the Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. You take a look at this matchup. The Packers are coming... Up off a last second win over the 49ers, and the Steelers struggled uh, against the Bengals. See right now the Steelers are average down, losers of their last two, and the Packers are average up, winners of their last two. The Packers are 6.5 point favorite with odds of 1.34 to 3.22. The over under is at 45.5. Look at the score prediction here. The Packers 36, Steelers 16. Now, it is only a 47.9% confidence in prediction, but take a look at this as we co get closer to the game to see if that has changed. Right now, that's looking like they're predicting it. You know, we're predicting a Packers in a blowout win at the moment. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see here that the Steelers are at plus 16. The Packers are at plus 11. 
trading in opposite directions. Considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Steelers are trending in games under the line. And the Packers have been over the line for the last several weeks. I would probably bet, I would probably avoid betting this one. If I do place a bet on the over and I would go with the over, do not go with the under. It will either be no bet at all, or if you feel a little gutsy, go with the over, but do not go with the under. As far as for the outcome of the game, Packers are clearly the better team at the moment. They will win and cover at home. So we're looking for at least a touchdown win. Tampa Bay and New England. Tom Brady returns to New England. The Buccaneers are coming off a loss. They're averaged down at the moment. You can see they're coming off a loss to the Rams, 34-24. New England is average status at the moment. They're coming off a loss as well, 28-13 to the Saints. Green Bay is a road favorite by a big margin, more than a touchdown at minus 7.5, with 1.31 odds to 3.36 odds. Confidence in prediction is Tampa Bay by a 31 to 16 margin, with confidence in prediction though of only 39%. The over/under in this game is sitting at 49.5 at the moment. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Tampa Bay is up at plus 30. New England, after being down to plus 7, has bounced back a little bit there at plus 17. If you're considering the over and under, uh, you can see here Tampa Bay has been trending over the line. And New England has been trending way under the line here. So it's way under the line. Usually when it's opposite sides of the line, I will avoid the bet. But since New England's trending so far under the line, I think this will be a lower scoring game. I would go with the under in this one. I do think that the uh, Buccaneers will win the game. The Packers, uh, the Packers, excuse me. New England does have a chance to cover, but I think that Tampa Bay will definitely win the game. Let's take a look at the, at the money line. For a second here, you can see that minus 1.41 to start, and now it's at minus 1. Point, or excuse, now it's at 1.31. So you can see that the, the line has moved in the direction of Tampa Bay even further. So take that into consideration. The last game we want to look at is the Raiders and the Chargers. The Raiders are burning hot at the moment, winners of all three games, and the Chargers are average status. They are at two and one, and they're coming off an impressive win though against the Chiefs, 30 to 24. The Chargers are a side home favorite at 2.5 points, with odds of 1.59 to 2.35, and the over-under is sitting at 52.5. The score prediction is indicating under here, with the Chargers with a 24-23 win. Confidence in prediction, though, is low at 38.3%, but I am liking the, the way this prediction is coming out as far as the margin of victory, or the margin, or the, the tightness of the game. It's going to be a close game. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Raiders are trending up here at plus 28, and the Chargers are down at plus 10. Take a look at the total prediction. The over-under, look at this, the Raiders are playing in games way over the line here, plus 6 points. And the Chargers are under the line now at minus 4, so I would avoid the over-under in this one. But as far as the outcome of the game... I am liking the Raiders on the road to cover this game and perhaps win. I'm not going to go as far as to say that yet. It's going to be a very close game. Again, if they do cover and they don't win, it's, we're looking at like a two-point win for the Chargers. So it's either going to be a two-point win or less for the Chargers or a win for the Raiders. So there you have it. Those are the games for week four of the NFL season. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.